In this video, we're going over today's small business financing news. It is November 5th, 2024, and it's election day. And I know you guys are busy. You're probably going out to the polls if you haven't already to cast your vote for Kamala or Trump or your, your local government candidates. Both the presidential candidates are speaking a lot to small business owners. So we'll see how everything shakes out at the end of the night and who gets elected. And then we'll go into more details on how it's going to affect small business and the policies that they propose that they read their campaigns on. And we'll see if it has a good shot at getting, you know, getting through Congress and, and all that. So we'll, we'll go on more of that later. There's plenty of time for that. Again, you guys are probably on a tight schedule today. Try to run your business and also go out to the polls and make your vote. But first, before we get into our story today, I want to go over some of the research that we found through ADP's internal report that they put out every month on their 25 million employees that use ADP's payroll. So it's interesting because ADP, obviously, they're, all of their clients are in the private sector. Whereas a lot of the information that you get with jobs reports is coming from publicly traded companies, or it's a mix of private and public, especially when the Fed sends out their reports. So it's and this is interesting because you know a lot of you guys that are watching this video, you're small business owners, and you're more fo focused on what the environment is out there for the labor market for the private sector. Okay, uh, but again, yesterday. If you want more information or if you want all the details, go back to yesterday's video and look at that. But all the numbers were good. Private sector added 223,000 jobs in October. Annual pay is up 4.6% for job stayers. And then for people that bounced around or switched jobs, they saw a pay increase of 6.6%. So um, nearly double of what people that stayed at their jobs last year, or I'm sorry, year over year, October, October. But goods producing sectors, they totaled 22,000 jobs. Service providers totaled 211,000 jobs. The only decrease that we saw was manufacturing. That lost 19,000 jobs month over month from September to October. In regional employment changes, we saw the West was the least amount of jobs added with 44,000. And the South was the most that added 77,000 jobs. Also, an uh, interesting article that was written about Gen Z. There were studies that show that Gen Z in those ages are 12 to 27. So, you know, all the way from preteen to young adulthood, they prefer influencer recommendations over word of mouth. So if you're a small business owner and you have a product or service that helps out Gen Z, I would seriously consider having some type of influencer recommendations, either hiring an influencer or using them as a way to market your product to be able to get their attention through your social media channels. They still use word of mouth and they trust word of mouth, but they uh, more often they're looking at influencer recommendations for products or services they want to buy or use. So keep that in mind if you are targeting Gen Z with your, with your business. Okay. So that's it for yesterday. We also went over all last week too. So if you want to catch up on last week, you can watch that video, but Today, I want to go over, there's a report done by Pfizer. So Pfizer is a global tech and payments company. So if you're swiping your credit card, using that to buy something that a lot of times it is getting processed by Pfizer. So they'll do these internal reports based on all the data that they're collecting every day. And according to Pfizer small business index for October, 2024, it shows that small business sales are up 7.1% and a total, total transactions are up 8.8%. So not only are they growing their revenue with small business sales, but also they're seeing that more transactions are going through. But the interesting thing is the average ticket size. So the average tickets are up, total number of tickets up 8.8%, but the average ticket size has decreased 3.3%. They didn't give an explanation why or why they thought it might be that way. Maybe just because the more small businesses are opening up and the smaller business they are, they're, you know, not charging as much. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure that's just a, I'm taking a stab at it or consumers are just, they're going, they're shopping more often, but they're spending less each time they go somewhere and spend money. That could be a reason. Again, I, they, they're not offering any determination on why that is, but they're just reporting the data. The fastest growing retail categories year over year were general merchandise with 11.4% increase. Food and beverage was 8.4%, furniture 7.8%, and health and personal care 6.8%. Also, year over year restaurants grew and both total sales nearly 6% and foot traffic was up 7.6%. 7 7 but again, ticket sizes were down 1.7%. So everything ended up, it was a, it was a net profit, but
but more people were coming through the door at restaurants, sales were up, but the, the average ticket actually decreased year over year, which is, again, it's interesting. Service-based small businesses also grew from 2023 of October up 7.4%. Also, at the category level, professional, scientific, and technical service sales grew year over year, 13.7%. So that was the biggest category upgrade there, where we also saw specialty trade contractor sales grow year over year, 7.6%. So I think conclusively looking at this data, everything, you know, sales were up, transactions were up across the board, but the ticket sizes were, were down. So people are spending, they're, they're spending money more often. They're using services or buying good more often, but they're actually spending less money per ticket. And maybe that was more of like a macroeconomic deal of inflation and you know, people are paying more money for groceries and gasoline and, you know, all the things, whatever you're shopping and buying for services that you're paying for, everything went up with inflation. So maybe less money to go around. So they're still shopping, if not shopping even more, but they're spending less money each time they go out. So again, interesting, interesting data. would love to see what uh, some other people say about this and give it takes. would love to hear what you all think. Do you all, are you all experiencing the same thing as a small business owner or an employee of a small business? Please let us know. But again, that was the, that was it for the video today. I appreciate your all's time. Go out and vote and we'll talk about whoever wins today. Tonight, and we'll talk about how it's going to affect your small business moving forward here later this week. Okay. Thanks. Have a great day.